Hey, friends. It's your girl, Rochelle, in the C-Mac Studios with my guy, Frankie. What's up? What's up, y'all? Today, we are talking about the no text after sex. You done gave him the goodies. Now, he don't want to hit you up no more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Reddit reaction mm-hmm. today, and I know you got the post queued up. You ready for that? I got it queued up and ready to go. Y'all ready? Here you go. I am a 45-year-old female and have been seeing a 46-year-old man for about six weeks. We have gone out on a date about once a week whenever we can both get free time from our work and our kids' schedules. We have things in common. We've been having good conversations. I like him. We have been texting daily one to two times a day. Not talking on the phone, though. We had sex after seven dates, and it didn't go very well. It was awkward and quick, which was a pretty weird experience for me. He left soon after. Before he left, he asked if I wanted to get together over the weekend. I said yes. He didn't text when he got home. Sometimes he does after a date and did not text all day. I finally texted at 5 p.m. He kind of made small talk. He didn't say he had fun last night. I don't exactly blame him for that. It went badly and ended awkwardly. I was going to chalk it up to nerves and the first time together and stuff happens. What I am upset about is not hearing from him until I reached out. My friend says he's just embarrassed and he was afraid I would be mad at him. I mean, yeah, it was awkward, but really, nothing to say at all the day after? Could he have been that upset? Does he just not like me that much? Or was he pulling away because that's what men tend to do after sex? I hate that I am past 45 and can't read these situations. So this one Mm. is a little awkward, to say the least. Uh, (laughs) Well, since, since you're past 45 and you can't read the steering wheel too well, you need to go directly to the source and say, what's up, in my Martin voice. Go to this person and say, yeah, you know, I know we had sex. I know it was uh, what it was, Hmm. but, um, you know, what's going on? Are we still vibing? We still kicking it? Hmm. Did you just hit it and quit it? What's up? Tell me what I need to know. Uh, And I think it's very important as a 40-something-year-old, as a 50-something-year-old, 60-something-year-old, 30. Everybody, how, everybody, how, everybody, however everybody, old everybody. you are, you need, you need some clarity as to what we will be or, or, or you know, are we going to be anything at all? Uh, so it sounds like y'all just hooked to me. It sounds like this was a hookup and there has been no uh, communication the, or or the communication has been a little dry since then. And, mm. you know, as a woman, you need to know. You know, we we are very emotional beings. And when we have sex with someone, our emotions is tied to this. So so let's slow it down. Let's slow it down for a second. Because I'm with you. Go as slow as you need to go. And and the communication is everything. So we we can't get anything done without communication. But I I, I will stand in in the gap for this brother. Um, I, I think that you should communicate what's going on. Have that open communication. Express your feelings about what's going on, but in a calm, keyword, calm, and I'll throw another keyword out there, non-confrontational way. Because if this brother came off on the first session as a hit it, quit it man, I, um, after being not just a hit it and quit it man, but a minute man in the same breath. I'm not for sure if that's really what's going on. I, I tend to side with the friend that maybe he was embarrassed to call because he he, basically, been. he fumbled. He fumbled. He but, was a little excited. Right, but but you know, <laughs> b- b- before you before you even begin the conversation with him, I think you really need to focus on you first. Focus on that inward. Take time to reflect on what happened. Get your feelings together. Be Get some clarity on how you're feeling about the relationship because, I mean, it's seven dates. You've decided to take it to that next level, to a physical level. I mean, there had to be something in those seven dates that made you want to have sex and make make you think maybe it's it's more 
or it could be more. And it's also got to be something there that has got you in your feelings after he didn't respond. So you must be really feeling this guy. So get a little clarity before Again, we bef- with the emotions. before we blow up the spot. <laughs> it's essential to do a, a deep dive into your emotions <clears throat> after that tough experience. I mean, what are you thinking? You know, and let's just cut all past the sweetie talk. Listen. <laughs> sweetie talk. Y'all are in y'all 40s. Hmm? Who has time? Who has a whole hell of a lot of time to be acting like 19, 18 year olds? Let's get to the point. Are we going to be something or are we not? We've been talking for, we had seven dates. I don't know how long they've been talking prior to the seven dates, but um, we've done what adults do who are typically feeling each other. Can we put some realness out there on the table? I'm a woman who's almost 50. I don't have time to try to read between some damn lines. Just tell me what's up. Period. This is where she's coming from. She's coming from it, you know, in a nice way. But she needs she needs that that other person on this side of her shoulder. This person that has no filter. Tell me what's up. You know what I mean? You're in your late forties. So am I. Can we be mature adults and talk about things like mature adults do? Can mm. we start there? Yeah. I mean, there's no need of listen. The sex was what it was, you know, whether you want to call him a minute man, whether you whether you walk sis, whether you walked away unfulfilled or unhappy. I mean, sometimes things happen that that stuff we see on TV. Sometimes that crap ain't real. It's just what it is. Let's just keep it what it's at for right now. There will be other times if, you know, both of y'all as consenting adults choose to move forward and do. But for the meantime, Let's find out what's going on between us. Is there any clarity in the building? Is there any responsibility? Is there any realness in the building? Can we just start there? And then we can move forward. And next time y'all get it on, shoot, who knows? I mean, Might you, be some, some I, static I, in the I, room. And I get where you're coming from. You sound a little, little, little aggressive there, a little, a little aggressive. But I, 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 I know we're getting ready to wrap this up. It is what it is. Patience, my sister. Patience is the key in this situation for me. No <laughs> Sometimes, look. Sometimes people need to process their experiences. Don't rush to conclusions. Give him space to respond. Everything ain't always happen on your time, sis. Give him time. Processing experiences take time. Remember, as we close this up, not everybody responds immediately. Take a step back. Allow some space for your understanding and his understanding to unfold. And that's all right here on Building Healthy Relationships.